This broadcast of Stoughton High School Football on WSTO-TV is brought to you by Stoughton Hospital. For more than 100 years, our neighbors in the Stoughton area have trusted Stoughton Hospital to provide personalized, forward-thinking, expert health care. Stoughton Hospital is a proud supporter of WSTO programming. Trusted care close to home. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Hanson Electronics, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent and Radio Shack dealer. Inkworks of Stoughton, unique digital and offset solutions. Pizza Pit of Stoughton, fresh, fast, and hot delivery of our great pizzas, sandwiches, chicken, and more. And McGlynn Pharmacy, your local full-service pharmacy with free delivery. to you. Welcome to Collins Field in Stoughton for high school football. Tonight it's the Monroe Cheesemakers taking on our Stoughton Vikings. Nice to have you with us here on a uh, Friday night once again. James Weingard with you and our crew as always getting ready for the opening kickoff of this Badger South ma uh, matchup between the Cheesemakers and the Vikings. Vikings come in at 4-0 and overall and 2-0 and in the conference tied with Monona, uh, Monona Grove. Watertown also 2-0 in the Badger South. Then Milton and uh, Oregon are 1-1. One one. Fort Atkinson, Edgewood, and Monroe still looking for their first conference win. The Badger, or the Badgers, the, the Vikings will uh, get the opening kickoff. Badger Conference, not, not Badgers, Badgers. That's a good way to start, isn't it? So the Vikings and the Cheesemakers come in uh, to this one tonight. Adam Hobson will be the quarterback for the Vikings. Dwight Walker and Nate Hutcherson back deep to receive the opening kickoff for the Vikings. The dreaded mystery player, number 12, will be kicking off for the Cheesemakers. This is a line drive, hits an up back, and it's fallen on by Zach Walleen. And... Curtis Jaskulski also there on the recovery for the Vikings, and it's first and 10 for Stoughton from their own 43-yard line. Hobson works out of the shotgun on the first down play with five wideouts, three this near side, two to the far side. Hobson's got it. He's going to throw on the first down. That's not actually not Hobson. Here's a long throw, and it's nearly intercepted. And it is Hobson. Yes, 10. And incomplete on the first down, on the first Hutcherson was the intended receiver. 
And it is now second down and 10 for the Vikings from their own 43. Across the 45 yard line. Dwight Walker on the run, five yards on the play, third down and five coming up. So third down and five for the Vikings. Hobson with it to pass, looks, throws this way, and that is just uh, just out of the reach of Dom Hogan, and it's intercepted by 22, Aiden Sweeney for Monroe, so a turnover for the Vikings. Boy, he laid out here on the near sideline and was able to get a, a good look at it and picks off the ball. So Monroe has it now, first and 10 from their own 48 yard line. Jordan Montgomery was a player in motion. Alex Witt, the quarterback. Run goes up the middle. Ethan Klecker with the run, picks up three to the Viking 39, uh, 49 yard line. So the ball spotted at the Viking 49 yard line, second down and seven. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And Witt under center. And Witt, option play goes out to Montgomery, out to the far side, stutter steps, gets down to about the 40 yard line, which would be a gain of nine. That would be good for a first down. They'll mark him right at the 40. So first down for Monroe at the Viking 40 yard line after the interception. That's the first interception by, for Dobson this year too, by the way. Kleckler on the carry for the cheesemakers gain of six down to the 34 yard line. Second down and four from the Viking 34. No score, just underway here from Collins Field. Hand off into the backfield, sidesteps a couple of tackles, dips and dunks his way down to the 25 yard line. That's a gain of nine. And that will be Nick Bansley, number 24 on the run. First and 10 for Monroe at the 25 yard line. So first and 10 from the 25, 9 19 to play here in the first quarter. Off the right side, this time it's going to be Jordan Montgomery. And Montgomery gets good yardage. He's down to about the 21, so that's a pickup of four. And that'll set up a second down and six for the Cheesemakers. Alex Witt, the quarterback, junior, 5'11", 175 pounds, under center. And that will be Kleckler up the middle. And it's going to be a first down. Ball spotted inside the 15. They'll mark it at the 14. That's a gain of six and another first down for Monroe. So the ball at the 14 yard line. 
824 to play in the opening quarter. Witt to work from under center once again. First man through this time is going to be Kleckler. And Kleckler's down to the 11, so that's a pickup of three. Eighth play of the drive, all runs so far. Eighth play coming up. Second down and seven from the 11-yard line. Coming this way, Witt has it, looking to throw, stops. He is in trouble and down he goes. Drew Paisold on the sack for the Vikings. Loss of seven. Third down and 12 now for Monroe. So third and 12, ball at the 17 yard line, or 18 as we take under seven minutes to play here in the opening quarter. And option play comes out to Montgomery. Montgomery around the right side and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. So a touchdown for Monroe from 17 yards out. Aiden Sweeney to try the extra point. They'll go for two. It's a middle pitch, and the two-point conversion is no good. So Jordan Montgomery with the 17-yard run around the right side, and the extra point uh, no good. So 6:45 left here in the first quarter. It's six to nothing, Monroe. The drive went nine plays and ended in a Jordan Montgomery touchdown run. Two-point conversion failed. And so the Vikings lose the interception. The uh, drive went 51 yards. And Monroe turns it in to a touchdown. So 6 nothing. Cheesemakers. Dwight Walker and Nate Hutcherson, of course, back deep to receive once again for Stoughton. And the kickoff, a little better this time, be fielded by an up back at the 28. And coming this way into a pile of people and then pushed ahead to about the 37 yard line on the return. Jack Rilling. So first and 10, welcome into our booth. James Weingard with you on WSDO TV tonight as we have the Vikings on the field for the second offensive set for the evening. Adam Dobson, the quarterback. And Dobson straight up the middle, dives up to the 40 yard line. That'll be a pickup of three. So three yards on the run by Dobson, and it'll be second down and seven. Here's a quick throw out to this side. Hutcherson has it up the near sideline, and he gets pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That would be a gain of six and close to a first down. So 
So they'll mark it down on the pass play just short of the line to gain. So a gain of six and it will be third down and one. Inside, nope, Dobson's gonna keep it himself and he just about broke through, crosses the 50 and he's down to the 47 yard line. That's a gain of seven and it's gonna be a first down for the Vikings. Coming up on halfway through this first quarter, Monroe took a Stoughton turnover, an interception, the first of the season by Dobson and turned it into a touchdown. Vikings looking to answer here. Dobson has it, inside handoff, that's Walker, spins his way out of traffic in the backfield and crosses the 45 and it'll mark him down at the 42. That'll be a pickup of four and it will set up a second down and six. Second down, short six, long five for the Vikings. Dobson barking out, Walker has it. He's gonna get trapped in the backfield. They went back and pushed Dobson down. No gain on the play. And now third down coming up for the Vikings. Third down and five. And a timeout called. Offside is the call against the Vikings on the penalty. First penalty of the game against uh, either team. So that moves the ball back. It's now gonna be third down and about 10 from the 47 yard line. Send two receivers near side, a couple out to the far side. Walker standing next to Dobson in the backfield. No, that isn't either, that was Hutcherson. Hobson to pass, looks, quick throw, catch made, great catch. Inside the 35 yard line and down to the 34, Drew Anderson on the reception and it'll be a first down for the Vikings. Gain of 14 on the play. And that sets up a first down for Stoughton from the 34. Two receivers near side, one to the far side on this uh, first down play from the 34. And this time it will be Walker off the left side. He got stood up and then closed line down inside the 30. And they'll mark him at the 28. That'd be a pickup of six. Second down and four for Stoughton from the Monroe 28 yard line as we're under four minutes left here in the first quarter. Dobson has it and he keeps it, runs up the middle, pulls it out of Walker's gut and picks up a gain of one and it's gonna set up third down and three. Vikings so far tonight, two for two on third downs. Dobson has it, inside handoff, and that is gonna be Walker with the carry. Picked up maybe a yard. Actually no gain on the play. So fourth down and about three for the Vikings from the 26 yard line. Tenth play of the drive, fourth down and three for Stoughton. Dobson has it, looks, throws, catch made. Anderson has it, keeps his feet inside the 15 and down to the 13 yard line, a gain of 13. Drew Anderson with the reception and it will be first down for Stoughton. That's two big third down uh, or two big pass uh, receptions by Anderson on this drive so far. Two and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. 
And Dobson has the snap. He's running out to the left, gets a good block at the point, turns the corner inside the 10, inside the five, and he may have lost the football. It's gonna be out of bounds and it's gonna be another turnover to Monroe. So Dobson lost the football at the last second out at the pylon and it went out of bounds in the end zone or through the end zone and a turnover by the Vikings on what was a tremendous drive, but it ends empty, but there's a flag on the play as well, holding against Stoughton. That'll be declined, and the result of the play will be the uh, turnover by Hobson. Two turnovers tonight for the Vikings. Two thirteen time remaining here in the first quarter. And this is a run right square up the middle. Kleckler on the run. Picked up six. Second down and four for the Cheesemakers. Boy, Vikings get an, have an interception and a fumble tonight. Montgomery in motion. Kleckler has it. He'll be across the 30 to the 31. That'll be a pickup of five. That'll give him six. And it's gonna be first down at the Monroe 32 yard line. Minute and a half left here in the swiftly moving first quarter. Very warm evening tonight. We'll check the weather after our break at the first quarter. Not many clouds just on the horizon here tonight in Stoughton. Hand off up the middle. Ethan Kleckler once again, the senior. And he picked up three on the play. Second down and seven. Less than a minute to go here in the first. So second down and seven from the 34 yard line. Hand off this time, I believe that's Sweeney. Yep, Nick Sweeney on the run, 24. Bainsley on the run, beg your pardon, Bainsley. Picked up three. So third down and four and they will let the first quarter clock run out. So we will take a break here. It is six nothing Monroe over Stoughton as we head to the second quarter. We'll take a time out and come back. Second quarter coming up. This is high school boys football, the Badger South Conference on WSTO and WSTO.TV. Take a step back to yesteryear. Friday nights from five until midnight, WSTO will be featuring classic movies, including such titles as The Brain That Wouldn't Die, his Girl Friday, and more. Friday night movies from 5 p.m. until midnight on WSTO-TV and online at WSTO.TV. So we head to the second quarter with the Vikings trailing Monroe by a score of six to nothing. Vikings have committed two turnovers in the first quarter, one a fumble, one an interception, the fumble coming right at the pylon of the end zone. And uh, so we will see what the Vikings defense does here with a third down and four coming up for Monroe. Third 
13 carries, 68 yards on the ground for Monroe tonight. So third down and four now as the Cheesemakers have it to start the second quarter. Witt hands off, and this is going to be stuffed in the backfield or right at the line of scrimmage. Jordan Montgomery on the run, no gain on the play. Fourth down and four. Monroe looks to go for it here on the fourth down play. So Witt will work from under center on fourth and four. Montgomery in motion, handoff right up the middle and should have enough for a first down. Fleckler on the run. Seven yards on the pickup for Kleckler, and it's a first down. Monroe now one for one on fourth downs, one for two on third downs. And the ball spotted at the Cheesemaker 43-yard line. Monroe in front, six to nothing. Handoff goes to uh, Bainsley. Bainsley across the far side, and he tiptoes along the sideline. They'll mark him out at the Stoughton 42 after a gain of 16 and a first down. So first and 10 for Monroe at the Viking 42 yard line. Ten and a half minutes to go as he was run out of bounds. We are early in the second quarter. First man through. Kleckler again, and it's going to be down at, or he'll be down at the 36, so a gain of six, and it'll be second down and four from there. Monroe doing a fine job moving the ball so far tonight. 100 and 98, well, actually just 98 yards on the ground, but they are efficient. And we've got a flag down. Delay a game against Monroe. So that is their first penalty of the night. Both teams with one penalty for five yards, and that moves the ball back outside the 40 to the 41-yard line, where it will be second and nine from there. Second and nine for Monroe. Montgomery coming this way, sidesteps one tackle, gets held on to and thrown down just shy of the 40 yard line or maybe right at the 40. Jack Nelson on the stop. So a gain of one. And it's third down and eight from the 40. Vikings could use a, a stop right here. Monroe already one for two on third down conversions. They're one for one on fourth down if we get to that point. But before that happens, we will get a cheesemaker timeout. So with 8.56 left here in the second quarter, it is Monroe 6 and the Vikings nothing. Uh, if we have weather handy, let's uh, take a look at our weather forecast for tonight. And it could not be much better here for the middle of uh, September, feeling more like the first game of the season than the fifth game of the season with 85 degrees, clear skies, and a very minimal breeze, about three miles an hour. And again, not...
many clouds in the sky here. The first two home games we, we had back in September, we were talking about flooding once in Watertown and flooding then the second week in Middleton and Black Earth out that way. And now, of course, we're dealing with hurricanes in, in uh, the Carolinas, in Hawaii and stuff. So, of course, we wish everybody, if players or coaches have friends and family down that way, wish them well. 8.56 left in the second quarter. Six to nothing. Monroe over the Vikings as a flock of birds. Looks like ducks or, are those ducks? Those are ducks heading, uh, heading south, a little early guys. And this is Montgomery sticking his way out of a couple of tackles, but he is going to get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And no gain on the play. Drew Paisold with the tackle. And so it's fourth down and eight from the 40 yard line. Monroe looking to convert for a second fourth down tonight. Ball at the 40 yard line. Witt to pass for the first time. Looks, throws, catch made, and then it's loose. It's, they're going to call it incomplete. JT Seagraves was the intended receiver, and the defense was right there to dislodge the ball from him. So a turnover on downs, and the Vikings will have it first and 10 on their own 40-yard line. And we welcome you into our broadcast location. James Weingart, Spencer Meyer, Corbin Sarek with you up here in the box tonight. And of course our crew directing is uh, Derek, Jacob on graphics, cameras, Nick and Brandon tonight. And we're glad to have you with us from Stoughton at Collins Field. 8.09 to go in the first half and the toss play. And this will be across the 45. Quinn Arnott with the carry. He is six in the play, second and four. So second down and four from just across the 45 yard line. Quick throw out to the far sideline, catch made out there. Hutcherson, I believe, has it. Yep. And Hutcherson tiptoes up the sideline, gets across the 50 to the 48 yard line of Monroe. That'll be a gain of six and a first down. Hobson, four of six for 39 yards and one interception tonight, also has a fumble. Three wideouts on this formation. One to the far side, two on this near sideline. Hobson gets tripped up in the backfield. Good job there. Jacob Amaker with the stop for Monroe. And loss of two. Second down and 12 for the Vikings back on their own side of the 50 yard line. Hobson sends Hutcherson in motion and we'll get a timeout as Hobson was displeased with the play. So we have a timeout on the field with the clock at 6.51, Monroe six, Stoughton nothing. And a second down and 12 facing the Vikings coming out of the timeout. Should mention we'll have a long halftime tonight. They're going to talk about the honorary S Club members. Uh, they'll also be introducing uh, community members tonight, and we have a performance by the dance team all coming up at halftime. So I think we was told I was told before the game we'll have a 20-minute halftime. So we'll have uh, time to go take a nap. No, we won't. Well, we will pay attention just like everybody else does.
Our next football broadcast will come your way in two weeks on September 28th when uh, Stoughton has homecoming, and that will be against second-year Badger South Conference member Watertown, and that again in two weeks on September 28th at 7 p.m. 6.51 left here in the first half. Vikings down 6 to nothing to Monroe. High snap. Hobson has it, looking for a block out to the far side, and gets one, still fights his way through the traffic and gets down to the 45-yard line. It would be a gain of seven. So third down and seven coming up for the Vikings from the Monroe 45. Stoughton one of three on, uh, or one of two, two of two on third down conversions tonight so far. Two of three. Third and seven from the 45. Snap back to Hobson. Lots of time, looking, looking. Heaves, and this is broken up. Intended. Intended receiver was Drew Anderson. It falls incomplete. And so that will set up a fourth down now. Cade Spildy to kick the football away. Nick Bansley back deep to receive. Line of scrimmage, the 45 yard line. Spildy has it. This one high in the air off the side of his foot and it goes out of bounds. This is going to be a very short kick. So they will mark it out. He's still coming up 35, 40. So that's a five yard punt. So a five yard punt for Spildy, and it'll be first and 10 for Monroe from their own 40 yard line. 5.49 left here in the first half. Everybody up close to the line of scrimmage. Montgomery, Jordan Montgomery with the run to start off this drive and he picks up six on the play and it'll be second down and four, five and a half minutes to play in quarter number two. Handoff off the left side this time and this will be Kleckler down to the Viking 45 and that'll be a pickup of nine and a first down. So Monroe with a first down at the Viking 45 yard line. Vikings have not been very uh, good at stopping the run so far tonight. 114 yards on the ground. There, Missed tackle in the backfield. Montgomery, I believe, is the ball carrier this time. It is. And he picks up yardage down to the 40, so that's a pickup of five. Second and five from the 40. Under four and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Another handoff, Kleckler, oh, lost the football and looked like he fell on it. Pickup of three, so it'll be third down and two. So third down and two from the 37. Monroe one of three on third down conversions tonight. Vikings 
came off. Barrett Nelson came off and Jack Nelson went on. Barrett had a problem, looked like, with his helmet. So third down and two, play fake, toss play goes out to the far side. Bansley gets stood up behind the line of scrimmage. He loses a couple yards. Loss of three. So they'll mark it at the 44, and it'll be fourth down and four from the 44. So fourth and four from the 44. Monroe one of two on fourth down attempts tonight. Kleckler driving his way to the 40 yard line. And he will be very close to first down yardage. It'll certainly depend on the spot. They marked it across the 40 and it's definitely gonna be a first down. So it's a gain of five and it'll be a first down for Monroe. That makes the Cheesemakers two of three on fourth down conversions tonight. 2.40 to go in the second quarter. Cheesemakers up 6-0 on the Vikings. And out to the far side, and that's not going to go anywhere. Bansley goes out of bounds. He's going to lose yardage. They will mark him out. For a loss of two. So second down and 12 now. And officials are having a discussion. 2.13 left in the second quarter. Referees are having some discussion about something. And whatever it is has been rectified, it would appear. Oh, they reset the clock to 225. That's what the discussion was. So they move the clock back to 225. Second down and 12 from the 42 yard line. Kleckler with the run and he's inside the 40. Gain of four on the play. And the Vikings have called time. Third down and eight will be the play for Monroe coming out of the timeout. And clock stopped with 2.15 to go. Vikings calling their second timeout of this first half. Vikings, as we mentioned, coming in 4-0 and oh in the, on the season. 56-15 win over Portage, 28-14 over Baraboo, 29-9 over Edgewood, and 26-14 against Milton last week. They play at Oregon next Friday, the 21st, then home against Watertown for homecoming and then at Monona Grove on October 5th and then wrap up the regular season here at home against Fort Atkinson. Ninth play of the drive coming up here for the Cheesemakers out of the timeout with 2.15 to go in the second quarter. Both teams with one penalty for five yards tonight, but the Vikings have committed two turnovers, one an interception and then a fumble at the end zone. Here's Montgomery. Montgomery backs his way down to about the 32 yard line. That'll be short of the first down. Pick up of six on the play. So it'll be fourth down and two. So fourth down and two 
from the 27. Kleckler gets upended, and he will be stopped short of the first down. A gain of one. So the Vikings defense holds, and they will have a minute and 26 to go here in the second quarter to see what they can do and maybe get back into this one. Well, not that they're that far out with trailing by six points. So one timeout for the Vikings, two for Monroe, One twenty-six to go in the first half. Hobson has it, back to pass, looking, looking. Heaves down the far sideline and that's incomplete. Intended receiver was Connor Knopf and it's incomplete. Second and 10 coming up. Hobson now four of eight for 39 yards with one interception. Clock stops with 119 to go. That's going to off in motion. He'll set up as a slot receiver on the right side. Hobson has the snap, looking to throw again. Quick throw. Oh, that went behind his intended receiver, Jack Rilling. And it is incomplete. So third down and 10 now. Vikings two of four on third down conversions in the first half. Third and 10 from the 26. Hobson to pass, looks, throws, catch made. And that'll be down at the 39 yard line. Drew Anderson with the reception, a gain of 13 and a first down. So first down, just shy of the 40 yard line, coming up on a minute left here in the first half. Hobson to pass again, looking, throwing, catch made. Anderson again, 45, breaks a tackle, breaks another one inside Monroe territory at the 48 yard line. 13 yards again and another first down. First and 10 from the 48. Clock runs 53, 52, 51 seconds. You see it on your screen. And a flag down. Probably a false start against the Vikings. And it is. So two penalties for a total of 10 yards now for the Vikings. Second, or make it first down and 15 coming up. Clock stopped, now running with 45, 44, 43 seconds left in the first half. First and 15 for Stoughton from their own 48. Hobson has it, fakes the throw, now lobs it down the far sideline and it's caught. Nathan Hutcherson with the reception. They'll mark him down at the 26 yard line. And that will be a gain of 26. First down Vikings, 27 seconds left here in the first half. Hobson in trouble and Pass is short, intended for Hutcherson, incomplete. So second down and 10 now from the 26 yard line, 24 seconds to go. Hobson seven of 13, 91 yards and an interception. 
but the Vikings on a drive here. It is second down and 10 from the 26 yard line. Adam Hobson with the snap, throws over the middle, catch is made by Anderson. And he's down immediately at the 19, which would be a gain of seven. Vikings call their last time out of the half with 18 seconds remaining in the first half. So third down and three coming up for the Vikings. 18 seconds left here in the first half. Vikings three of five on third down conversions tonight. This will be the eighth play of the drive. Ball at the 19 yard line with 18 seconds left. And again, coming up at the half, they'll be introducing the S Club members. We'll have a dance team performance. Third down for the Vikings off the timeout. Hobson back to pass, looks, throws, end zone, Anderson, go! He had it, but it's knocked out of his hands, and it's incomplete, fourth down coming up. So field goal try coming up here from the uh, 18, so 25, 35-yard attempt, field goal attempt coming. Cade Spildy to try a 35-yard field goal. 12 seconds to go in the half. This is to cut the lead in half. Hobson is the holder. Snap, place, kick is good! Cade Spildy from 35 yards out. And the Vikings get on the board. It is now... Six to three. So the Vikings march down the field. They get a 35 yard field goal with 10 seconds left in the second quarter to get on the board here late in the first half. It's now six to three with just 10 seconds left. Monroe will get the kickoff to start the second half. Let me tell you what little breeze that comes into this window, this open window in front of me is fantastic. It is warm in here tonight, friends. Ten seconds left in the first half. Spildy to kick off. After connecting on a 35 yard field goal, I suspect this will be a burner right up the middle of the field. Little squib kick, and this will be caught and then dropped. Trevor Meyer with the uh, catch on the kickoff. Now, 
Nine seconds left in the first half in Witt works under center. And he'll back to pass. He'll drop back to pass. Looking. Heaves. Throws downfield. And this is bobbled and dropped. One second left. So we'll see what Monroe comes up with here in the last play of the first half, barring a defensive penalty, of course. Second down, one second remaining, 57 yards away from Pater. And Witt to pass, rolls out. He's going to get dropped for a loss. Jake Lenz with the sack. They mark him down back at the 32-yard line, so a loss of 11. And that's the way the first half comes to an end. And so, with our score, the Monroe Cheesemakers 6 and the Stoughton Vikings 3 will step away and come back. Third quarter coming up. This is High School Boys Football on WSTO-TV. Hello, I'm Roger Spingman, and you're watching WSTO-TV. When a hospital feels like more than just a hospital, where you're treated with care every step of the way, where making appointments is convenient for your schedule, where staff can assist you with your insurance questions and work with health plans from Dean Health, Physicians Plus, Unity Health, and more. Where parking is easy and just a short drive from anywhere in Southern Wisconsin. Ask for Stoughton Hospital. Stoughton Hospital, trusted care close to home. I'm Shane, you're watching WSTO. Laura Mays, and you're watching WSTO TV. If hip pain is limiting your active lifestyle, hip resurfacing may be an ideal solution for you. At Stoughton Hospital, we're one of the area's leading providers of Birmingham hip resurfacing. Dr. Rogerson, a highly skilled orthopedic surgeon, has performed over 800 hip resurfacing surgeries with astounding success rates. The bone-conserving approach of this procedure preserves your natural bone structures and stability, allowing you to enjoy an active lifestyle again. Live life to the fullest with the help of Stoughton Hospital. Trusted care, close to home. Take a step back to yesteryear. Friday nights from 5 until midnight, WSTO will be featuring classic movies, including such titles as The Brain That Wouldn't Die, His Girl Friday, and more. Friday night movies from 5 p.m. until midnight on WSTO-TV and online at WSTO.TV. Buffalo, Jim Martin, Gary Horstad, Dr. David Nelson, Dr. Frank Nichols, David Nielsen, Mary Norland, Donna Olson, Randy Olson, Joe Palumbo, Harold Peterson, Doug Fuckhorn, Bell Peeper, Dan Perkle, Teresa Perkle, 
Jim Quelly. Rich Reichner. Mark Rostowski. Tim Rush. Phil Schoenbeck. Paul Selgo. Scott Sharp. Dennis Sheehan. Joe Sheehan. Carol Scavlin. Dave Scavlin. Eric Schmiel. Scott Stokes. David Strunk. Dale Potter. Roger Unimark. Barb Vio. Pete Beat. Terry Boxer. Bob Worsland. Richard Westall. Troy Weezer. And Craig Wood. Please give a big round of applause for current honorary S members. And at this time, Shelly Anderson, Assistant Athletic Director, will present the 2018 recipients with their honorary S Club letter. This year's recipients are Dr. Deanne Eccles Rotar and Todd Scavlin. In order for any of our programs to have success, there needs to be those who make contributions to the kids and programs in various ways. Our first inductee, Dr. Eccles, has been a sideline staple for Stoughton football for years, making sure your players get the best immediate care possible. But this care for the Vikings goes well beyond Friday nights. Dr. Eccles' care for the Stoughton student athletes has brought us impact testing, our scholar athlete recognition, and new this year, our lower body screening program. Year in and year out, the Vikings can count on the care of Dr. Eccles. Our second inductee, Todd Scavlin, is a Stout graduate who served multiple terms on a student Stout Sport Boosters Board that crosses many decades. Todd, along with his family, has always been willing to step up and give a hand when needed in Stout Athletics. His support for the Vikings is not isolated to distant family sports, but rather you will find Todd attending and supporting many of our student athletes. It is this pride and dedication in Stout is why he is here tonight. Put your hands together for Todd Scanlon and Dr. Eccles one more time. The athletic department and community would like to extend a big thank you. Hope you both enjoy your retirement and congratulations to all of our honorary S members and congratulations to our newest members, Dr. Eccles Rosar and Todd Scanlon. Thank you, honorary S members. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, center field for your stunt dance team and the junior dancers.
on your stump dancing at Junior Dancers. Our stump youth dance teams, both elementary and middle school, start this October. Head to stumpdance.com for more information. Put your hands together one more time for your stump dancers. And at this time, we would like to direct your attention to the western gate on the home side of the stadium. More than 96% of Stoughton High School students graduate in four years. One of the best rates in Dane County. That work is the result of a team effort by all Stoughton area school district staff that starts at kindergarten and continues all the way to graduation day. Some of those employees are in attendance at the night's game for staff appreciation night. Let's give them a big round of applause together. Some staff have over 3,740 years of experience. Ladies and gentlemen, get up those 50-50 raffle tickets. We have a winning number. Tonight's winner gets $300. The winning ticket number for the 50-50 raffle is 634597.
My apologies, I missed out two names from our honor of number Bob Driver and Tim Roosh. I apologize for missing out to your name. Thank you again for being an honorary F member. Welcome back to Collins Field. James Weingard and our crack staff here with us uh, from uh, Stoughton tonight. And uh, we welcome you back in for high school football. It is six to three. And uh, the Monroe Cheesemakers lead over the Stoughton Vikings at the half. James Weingard, this is Spencer Meyer, who's uh, spotting for me tonight. Corbin Sarek over there. Step in here. Wave, your mom's watching in Lake Mills. <laughs> and six to three, our score at the half. And as we take a look at our scoring summary from the first half, 6.45 left in the first quarter. Jordan Montgomery uh, with a 17-yard uh, uh, run for Monroe to make it 6 nothing. The two-point conversion failed, and that made it 6 uh, nothing at that point. And then with 10 seconds left in the second quarter, Cade Spildy, 35-yard field goal, and that made it 6-3, to three, which is where we are at the half. There's the Stoughton Hospital stats report. Monroe with 122 yards of total offense, 135 for the Vikings. Uh, more importantly, perhaps, the Vikings with two turnovers tonight, one by way of interception and one by way of a fumble that uh, uh, Adam Hobson was responsible for right at the uh, pylon as he was diving for the end zone for a touchdown. And let's see, what else can I tell you? How about this? Uh, third down conversions, Monroe one out of five. The Vikings three for six. Uh, Monroe two for four on fourth down conversions, and the Vikings one for one. And uh, that gets us up to date as we get ready for the second half here from uh, Collins Field in Stoughton. Nice to have you with us. And again, our... Uh, Next football game will be coming your way in uh, two weeks when the Vikings host Watertown on homecoming. And that'll be a 7 o'clock start on Friday night, uh, September 28th. And then uh, two weeks after that, we will wrap up the regular season. And that will be uh, Stoughton Senior Night against Fort Atkinson. And again, that will be on uh, Friday night, October 12th. That also, of course, a 7 o'clock start. And the uh, October 12th game, as I am told, will also be Parents' Night, which will be the uh, makeup for the uh, game two, three weeks ago when we got uh, the game moved from Friday night back to Thursday night uh, because of the weather. So uh, Parents' Night and Senior Night on October 12th, homecoming on September 28th, and, of course, all the games right here on WSTO-TV and WSTO.TV. And... You'll find us on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash WSTOTV, Twitter at WSTOTV, uh, and of course online we are in stunning high definition. Monroe will be receiving the uh, second half kickoff. Monroe leading by a score of 6-3 to three as we head into this third quarter. are not necessary at this point.
put that in my 27 year highlight career uh, reel. <laughs> Cade Spildy to kick off for the Vikings. So Spildy to kick off for the Vikings as we head into quarter number three with the Vikings trailing six to three. Spildy readies. Fakes one way. It, now it's coming back this way. It will go 10 yards. Picked up by the Vikings down this near sideline. And it'll be down inside the 25-yard line. Caden Milbauer picks up the loose ball. Had to wait for a second hop for it to get past the 10 yard mark. And they're gonna move the ball back to the 40. Now wait a minute, what's going on? They're gonna move the ball back to the 47 yard line. So you, you can't return a pooch punt, I guess, anymore. So when you catch it, it's down. So first and 10 for the Vikings at the Monroe 47 yard line. Hobson is the quarterback and the handoff goes to Dwight Walker. Two on the run. So second down and eight for Stoughton from the 45 yard line. Jacob Amacher on the stop for Monroe in that last uh, play. Second and eight from the 45. Vikings collect the Pooch punt uh, to start the third quarter, get the ball. And Hobson has the high snap, looking, throwing, and catch is made. Anderson with the catch, Drew Anderson. Hobson took a hit at the end. And Anderson is down at the 38 yard line and it's gonna be close enough to a measurement uh, to measure. So a poll of the three of us up here, does he have it or does he not? He does, he does. Uh, I'm gonna say he does as well. So they bring the sticks out from the far side of the field. There's a good look at it right down the line. And he <laughs> does not. So he's about that far short. Again, the Vikings three of six on for, uh, third down conversions tonight. And this is gonna be third down and very short. Hobson has it, handoff goes up the middle. This will definitely be enough for a first down as it gets down to the 34 yard line, a pickup of six, Dwight Walker on the run and it will be a first down for Stoughton. 10.46 left in the third. Vikings trailing six to three, but an onside pooch kick to start the uh, third quarter gives the, gave the Vikings the ball back after Caden Milbauer picked it up. First down, and this is gonna be Walker again. And Walker will have yardage down to about the 31, it looks like. So we'll give him four on the play. Second and six coming up. Second and 
Second and six now. Hobson has it. Handoff comes this way. And it's Walker breaking free. And gets dragged down from behind at the 17-yard line. A gain of 14 and a first down. So first down for the Vikings. They'll mark him down at the 17-yard line. Hobson. And this time it's a spin move up the middle and down as Walker gets down to the eight, gain of eight. Second down and two, and a timeout, Monroe. So Monroe calls time as the Vikings are down to the eight yard line where it is going to be second down and two. 9.44 to go in the third quarter and our second half weather looking like this if we have it ready caught him off guard there it is 79 degrees temperature down a little bit now from kickoff clear skies still an east breeze very light breeze about three to five miles an hour and a very well in here it's very warm out outside it's very very comfortable for a mid-September night. So second down and two from the eight yard line. Walker stands in the backfield next to Hobson. Receiver le uh, left and two to the right. Hobson has it, throws out far side, catch made, good open field tackle. Tremendous tackle there. Nathan Hutcherson on the reception. Back to the 10 yard line, so a loss of two on the pass play. Vikings four for seven now tonight on the third down conversions and it's third and four from the 10. Snap back to Hobson, run comes this way. Walker will get back to about the original line of scrimmage, maybe down to the seven. We'll give him two on the play. So fourth and two. Cade spilled on to try another field goal. And this time it'll be of 25 yards in length. Hobson is the holder. So this 25 yard field goal attempt to tie the game. Snap back, ball placed, kick is on its way and it is good. Eight twenty-five to go in the third quarter. Cade Spildy with his second field goal of the night. This one a 25 yarder. And we are now tied at six. Nine play drive goes 39 yards. And the Vikings get a 25 yard field goal from Cade Spildy to tie it up. It's now six to six. see what the Vikings come up with this time. I would imagine you would not go to the well again with one of those uh, little pooch surprise kicks like that. I think you're going to kick it deep this time. Eight twenty-five. time remaining here in the third quarter. Kate Spildy to kick the football away. Tyler Matley and Nick Bansley back deep to receive for Milton standing at their own 10 yard line. By Milton, Monroe. Hobson did the kickoff the last time. As a matter of fact, 
Spildy went out to the far side and Hobson came back this way for on the kick. This time Spildy puts a boot into it and takes a hop, takes another hop and it goes out of bounds at the 25 yard line. So this will put the ball at the 35 yard line. First and 10 cheesemakers at their own 35 yard line. Tie game at six. Nick Bansley, the junior, with the carry on the first down play. And it's a gain of three. Second down and seven for the Cheesemakers. Coming up on eight minutes left here in the third quarter. Vikings and Cheesemakers tied at six. Cheesemakers a touchdown, missed extra point, or missed two point conversion. Vikings with two field goals tonight. Anderson, or, uh, excuse me, Bansley loses the football, and they're able to go back and cover it up back at about the 35-yard line. And the ball goes back to the 36. Monroe one for five on third downs tonight. So third down and almost 10. Witt to pass, throws, catch is made, and they fight across the 50. JT Seagreaves is the uh, receiver, and it's a 17 yard gain and a first down. That's Witt's first completion tonight, and it goes for 17 and a first down. 6.50 to go in the third. First and 10, Monroe at the Viking 48-yard line. Witt, uh, nope, I beg your pardon. It, the run goes up the middle. Kleckler with the run. Picked up one. Second and nine from the 47. Play fake, option goes out to the far side and on the stop at the, or on the run to the 50 yard line that was Bansley and a gain of three and I should say the Stoughton 45 yard line. Third down and six coming up. So third down and six from the 45. Monroe needs the 39 for a first down. Five and a half minutes to go. Running play goes up the middle for not much of anything. Kleckler on the run. No uh, gain of two. Whistle stops play. We've got a timeout. Fourth down and four from the 43. Oop, that's got to be a flag. And it's going to be a false start against Monroe.
So two penalties for 10 yards now for the Cheesemakers. And for the first time, it looks like Monroe is going to come out in a punt formation. Nathan Hutcherson back deep. Trevor Rodabaugh on to kick the football away. Line of scrimmage, the 48-yard line. Snap back to Rodabaugh, dropped it, picks it up. Reverse end over ender. Hutcherson has it at the 15, 33-yard punt. Flag down. Hutcherson's down on a backflip over his own teammate at the 21-yard line. So likely a block in the back here against the Vikings. And it is. So they'll move the ball back. Half the distance from the 15-yard line, so it'll be at the 8. First and 10 from the 8. So a long field in front of the Vikings. 4.40 to go in the third quarter. And it's first and 10 inside their own 10. Hobson will keep it himself. Hobson has it with some running room out to this near side now. Gain of 11, first down. First and 10 from the 19. Tom Hogan sets up as a tight end. Walker, and Walker across the 25. He's down at the 26, it's a gain of seven. Wade Sweeney with the stop for the Cheesemakers. Seven yards on the run, and it will be second and three from the 26. Under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Hobson ready for the snap once again. And it's a little high. He's got it. Throw far side. That may have short hopped in. Hutcherson had it. But they will say the pass is complete. Gain of one. So third down and two now for the Vikings. And they are... Four of eight on third downs tonight. 3.20 left here in the third. Third down and two. Hobson has it, keeps it, rolls near side, throws, and that's just too far out in front of Dom Hogan. Incomplete, and it's going to be fourth down. Nick Bansley back deep for Monroe. Cade Spildy to punt the football away. His first punt back in the first half went five yards. 26 yard line is the line of scrimmage here. So we'll see what Spildy does this time. He's got it. Much better kick. Spiraling kick fielded at the 36 yard line on a uh, fair catch. 38 yards on the punt that time, much better than five. And it's gonna be first and 10 for Monroe at their own 36 yard line. First and 10, Monroe on their own 36-yard line. 2.56 left in the third. Tie game at six. 
And we'll see what Monroe does this time. Uh, to the far side, Ban uh, Bansley has it. Bainsley. And he picks up four to the 40 yard line. Second and six coming for Monroe from their own 40, two and a half to go in the third. Alex Witt, the quarterback, handoff. And that's Montgomery. Montgomery picks up a yard or two. They'll give him two. So it'll be third down and four. Drew Pacel with the tackle in the last running play. So third down and four from the 41, handoff up the middle. Kleckler on the run, gain of four, and it's gonna be fourth down and one. So very short yardage here for Monroe, fourth down and one with a minute and 10 to go in the third. One receiver left, one to the right. Split backfield. And the Viking defense will hold again. Kleckler on the stop, or Kleckler with the run, lost two on the play. Drew Pace hold on the stop. And so the Vikings defense holds first and 10 now on the Monroe 44 with 55 seconds left. So first and 10 for the Vikings on the Monroe 44. High snap. Hobson throws, caught, oh boy, a bobbling catch, but Anderson reels it in off the second and third attempt. It's gonna be a completion down to the 20 yard line, 24 yards on the pass play, and it's first and 10. They'll mark him down at the 22, so a gain of 22. First and 10 for the Vikings on the Monroe 22 yard line. Clock ticking, late stages, third quarter. Hobson coming this way. Hobson looking for a block, hiding behind his lineman. Cuts out to the outside, turns the corner, sidesteps the receiver, dives to the end zone, and he is out of bounds at the three yard line. 19 yards on the run. It'll be first and goal for the Vikings after the 19 yard run. First and goal for the Vikings at the two yard line. Hobson has it, keeps it himself, heads right, looking for a block or some help and he gets dumped on his face, a loss of a yard on the play, second down and goal coming up. Second and goal after the loss of two. And that will be the end of the third quarter with our score, Monroe six and the Vikings six. We'll take a timeout and come back. Fourth quarter coming up. This is high school boys football, the Badger South Conference on WSDO TV. Take a step back to yesteryear. Friday nights from 5 until midnight, WSDO will be featuring classic movies, including such titles as The Brain That Wouldn't Die, His Girl Friday, and more. 
Friday Night Movies from 5 p.m. until midnight on WSTO-TV and online at WSTO.TV. All right, we begin the fourth quarter, and the Vikings and the Cheesemakers tied at six as you take a look at the Stoughton students bouncing around to jump around. Or some of them are anyway. <laughs> six to six, our score, second down and goal coming up for the Vikings at the four yard line. Hobson, handoff, and that'll be down to the one yard line. Dwight Walker on the run. Gain of three. Now third down and goal from the one yard line. Walker did not get in. It will be fourth and goal. So do the Vikings go for it here on fourth down or do they attempt to take the lead? Fourth down and goal from the one yard line. There's a look down the offensive line. Adam Hobson, the quarterback, he's got it. Walker's got it. Dives toward the end zone, and he is going to be... Looks like he's going to be short. They unpile everybody, and he is stopped short. So... The bad news is the Vikings don't get a touchdown. The good news is Monroe is stuck at their own one yard line. So 10.44 to go. Monroe has it first and 10 and 99 yards in front of him. Handoff goes up the middle. Alex Witt, the quarterback, on the run. Gain of one. Second down and nine from the two-yard line. 10.20 to go in the fourth quarter. Tie game at six. off the right side Jordan Montgomery picks up yardage to the five so that's a gain of three third down and six from the five yard line under ten minutes to go Leckler with the run up the middle across the 10, and he has yardage to the 12. That'll be a first down. Gain of seven. Let's go, 
So first down, little breathing room now for the Cheesemakers as the ball is out to the 12-yard line, first and 10 from there. Under center. And a loose ball picked up by Monroe back at the five yard line. Montgomery lost yardage back to the five or maybe the four. So that would be a loss of eight. Mark it at the five, so loss of seven. Second down and 17, back at the five yard line. Seagraves out to the far side. Now the offensive line jumps, so penalty. Third penalty for now, a total of 13 yards against the Cheesemakers tonight, 8.25 to go, fourth quarter. Monroe six, Stoughton six, and a second and 19 play from the three yard line now. Run goes up the middle. Bansley on the run. Or Montgomery, excuse me. Montgomery with the run. Picked up a yard. And it'll be third down and 18 from the four yard line. Monroe three out of nine third down conversions tonight. Third and 18 from the four yard line, seven and a half to go in regulation. Witt to pass, looks, throws far side, that's incomplete. Intended for Seagraves and that stops the clock at 7.22 to go in the fourth. Nathan Hutcherson back deep to receive for the Vikings. Brooks Empey up as well. So they'll stand at the back of the end zone. The line of scrimmage is the four. Good looking kick. Hutcherson will let it bounce right into his hands at the 33. Comes this way. Turns up field. Sidesteps. Hurdles a player inside the 10. And it'll be down at the six yard line. There's a flag out of bounds at the end of the play. And there's a flag back at the 28 yard line. So we may have offsetting. So we've got a personal foul at the end of the play with a late hit out of bounds. And then we've got, I think, a block in the back, back further upfield. So the referees will talk things over here. There's two flags down. The punt went. 29 yards, but it won't count, I don't think, but we'll check and see what this conference is all about. Referee telling the Stoughton coaches to back off. So we've got a block in the back against the Vikings. So it's going to be a 10 yard penalty from there, which will move the ball back to the 39 yard line. And then they're going to move a dead ball personal foul against Monroe. So 15 the other way. And the end result is the Vikings will have it first and 10 on the Monroe 24 yard line with 7.09 to go.
Hobson has it to throw on the first down play. Heads toward the end zone. Flag down. Two flags down. Hutcherson was the intended receiver. He was double covered. They marked the flags down at the one yard line. Pass interference against Monroe. So they go back to the previous spot and should be a Well, let's see, they're gonna mark it from the 25, so it should be at about the 12 and a half yard line here. Yep, they'll move it. So they move it back to the 12 yard line, first and 10 for the Vikings after the pass interference call, and now we've got a timeout. Referee on the far side of the field talking with the Monroe coach. Now we're ready to go again. 7.03 to play, first and 10 for the Vikings from the 12 yard line. Vikings have been deep in Monroe territory a couple of times. A fumble and stopped on fourth and goal from the one. Dwight Walker with the carry. Walker picks up one. And it's going to be second down and nine from the 11. Under seven minutes to go, fourth quarter. Tie game at six. Hobson readies. Has it. Hobson looks, fires, end zone. Anderson, touchdown! Drew Anderson gets the Vikings in the end zone for the first time tonight. And with 6.21 to go, it's now 12 to 6, Stoughton. Kate Spildy to try the extra point. So Spildy, readies, nods to Hobson, has the snap, and the kick is good. 6.21 to go in the fourth. It's now 13 to six, Stoughton. Let's take a look at the touchdown pass from Hobson to Anderson. Just a quick throw a fire out here to this near side and he dives into the end zone for a touchdown and the Vikings have the lead for the first time tonight at 13 to 6. So the Vikings again with the lead for the first time tonight now. Monroe scored a touchdown in the first quarter. Jordan Montgomery, a 17 yard run, six to nothing. Extra point, uh, two point conversion was missed. The Vikings got on the board late in the second quarter, 10 seconds left, a 35 yard field goal from Spildy to make it six to three. Spildy added a 25-yard field goal in the third quarter to make it 6-6, six to six. and now Hobson with a 11-yard uh, passing touchdown to Drew Anderson. Extra point good, and that's where we stand, 13-6 to six with 6.21 left. Kate Spildy to 
kick the football away. Spildy puts a boot into it. This is heading out to the far side of the field, takes a hop, and it will go out of bounds. So the Cheesemakers will start first and 10 on their own 35. Six twenty one left. Ball at the thirty five yard line. Hand off to Montgomery. He's trying to fight his way out of about seven different Viking players. Gain of three. So second down and seven for Monroe as we take under six minutes left here in quarter number four. Vikings now lead 13 to six. Bainsley coming this way and cuts back behind the line, then tried to cut back in. Gain of three again. Third down and four. Monroe three for 10 now on third down conversions tonight. Actually on that last play, they only gave him two. So third down and five from the 40 yard line, five minutes left, Witt to throw on the far side, still rolling, still rolling, now heaves downfield, has a receiver, and it's just a little bit out of the reach of Jordan Montgomery. He had a step on the Vikings defenders, but it falls incomplete, and it will be fourth down. Nathan Hutcherson and Brooks Empey back deep to receive the punt. 4.53 to go. Monroe with two timeouts. Vikings with three. Flag down. And this will be dead at the 35-yard line. 25 yard punt, There's a, there is a penalty flag down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Monroe had 12 men on the field. Actually, they still do. Four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, they still had 12, they had 12 men on the field. So they can, let's see, they'll talk about where they're gonna put the penalty or they'll mark it off. Illegal participation is the call against Monroe. They'll decline it. So it's a 25 yard punt. So first and 10 for the Vikings with 4.44 to go in the fourth. Adam Hobson, 13 of 22 for 139 yards, a touchdown and an interception tonight. Hobson still with it. And Hobson gets spun down at the 36 yard line, a gain of one. 
Second and nine coming up here with four and a half minutes to go and the Vikings in front by seven. Vikings with 27 carries for a total of 112 yards tonight. Second and nine coming to the middle Walker pushes the pile forward, finally ends up on his back, and he will be down at the 38, pickup of two. Third down and seven for Stoughton with 340 left. Vikings four of 10 from, or on the, uh, on third down conversions tonight. Third down from the 38. Hobson has it. Back to pass, throws this way. Anderson has it. And that's going to be a first down at the 48 yard line, a gain of 10. So first and 10 for the Vikings from the 48 yard line. 312 to play. win would push the Vikings to 5-0 and 3-0 and and in the Badger South. Monroe would be kept winless. First and 10 from the 48 yard line. Hobson's got it. And Walker on the run. He's going to pick up two at the 50 yard line. So Walker comes off the field hobbling. And the training staff will take a look at him. Fifty yard line, the line of scrimmage, two and a half minutes to go in regulation. Hobson has a snap, fake the, fake the run to Arnott. It's gonna be a flag down. Hobson's also down. Holding against, well, two flags down as a matter of fact. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we'll check both flags here, holding against the Vikings. Holding against Stoughton is the call. They'll back him up 10. So second and 17, they wind the clock with 2.10 left in the fourth. Hobson has the snap. Blitz up the middle. Hobson heaves. Anderson, oh, had it in his hands and he dropped it. Oh my. <laughs> wow, we. Penalty flag on the play again. Holding against the Vikings. Referee said that he grabbed him by, <laughs> by the jersey. And so. They decline at this time, so the, the incomplete pass will count. And so it's now third down and 17 back at the 42-yard line. 
boy, if, if Anderson gets his hands wrapped around that football, he had nothing but real estate in front of him to the end zone. So third and 17 from the 41, 149 left in the fourth quarter. Hobson's got it again to pass, rolls out this way, heaves downfield, and this will be intercepted at the 30-yard line. Jordan Montgomery, nope, I beg your pardon, number three, that's uh, Tyler Matley with the interception. Second interception of the night for Hobson. Third turnover of the game for the Vikings. And two, that, both of those turnovers, uh, both of the interceptions are the first two of the season for, for Adam. And unfortunately, Adam's also responsible for all three turnovers tonight. So, 141 to go. Vikings need a defensive stand. Monroe needs some running, and they get it. Montgomery up the far sideline, and he will be close to the 40-yard line. They'll give, it, give him 10 on the run. So Monroe with a first down. Clock runs, 90 seconds to go, and they have 60 yards to go for a potential tie or a potential win. Witt to pass, looking, looking, now flushed out of the pocket, escapes, throws downfield, a wounded duck, and this will be bobbled and falls incomplete. Bainsley was the intended receiver for the cheesemakers. It's now second down and 10 from the 40 with 113 to play. Witt is one of six for 17 yards tonight. Second and 10 from the 40 yard line. Witt rolling out this way, has lots of time, throws. That may have been batted a couple of times. Cade Milbauer breaks up the pass intended for Caleb Bunker. Monroe three of 11 on third down conversions in this game. 108 to play. And Monroe needs 10 yards in two plays at least to get a first down and keep going. And as you see on the our little score bug up on the top, they still have two timeouts remaining out of the shotgun. Witt looks, throws, tipped, and that falls incomplete. Kate Spildy with the tip, and it's now fourth down. And Monroe two for five on fourth down conversions. 103 left. They need 10 yards to get a first down. They need right at the midfield line, the 50 yard line. But they do have two timeouts. Witt looking, rolls out to this near side. Now spins his way back the other way, gets a block, gets a couple of blocks. Witt cocked his arm back, flag down, ball is gonna be short. There are two penalty markers down. Holding against Monroe. And that'll be declined, of course, and that'll turn the ball over on downs. Go. 
So 49 seconds left. And it's first and 10 for the Vikings at the Monroe 40 yard line. Hobson hands it to Quinn Arnott. Or Walker, beg your pardon, Walker's back in. And he goes out of bounds. Escorted out of bounds. No gain on the play. No gain on the play. Second and ten. So second down and ten from the 40-yard line. And more importantly, he went out of bounds to stop the clock, so Monroe didn't have to use a timeout. Back to Hobson. This time it's Arnott heading out to the left side with some running room. Hobbs, uh, uh, Arnott down at the 33, so it's a gain of seven and a timeout called by Monroe. So a timeout on the field by Monroe and the students will serenade us through the timeout. Seven years of doing this, and I've danced twice on camera tonight. Never again. Third down and three. Handoff comes this way. Hutcherson gets around the corner. Hutcherson down the sideline. And he goes out of bounds at the five yard line. A gain of 28. First down. Vikings 6 of 13 on third downs tonight, and that one seals the deal as Hobson will take a knee on this last play with 24 seconds left, and that will do that. So the clock down to 14, 13, and 12. Vikings, the last two home games come from behind to score consecutive points to pull off a win. And the clock has expired, and this game is in the books. Our scoring summary, 6.45 to go in the first quarter. Jordan Montgomery, a 17-yard run, extra point, or the two-point conversion was no good, and Monroe led 6 to nothing. Ten seconds left in the second quarter. Cade Spildy, a 35-yard field goal, and that made it six to three at the half. 8.25 left in the third. Cade Spildy, another field goal, this time from 25 yards, and that tied the game at six. And finally, with 6.21 to go here in the fourth quarter, uh, Adam Hobson found uh, Drew, Ander uh, Drew Anderson for a 11-yard uh, touchdown pass. The extra point was good, and that is your final score tonight, 13 to six. With the win, the Vikings improved to three and zero in the Badger Conference and Badger South Conference, and they are five and zero overall. And uh, with the loss, the Cheesemakers remain uh, winless, as they are now at zero and three in the conference and zero and five overall. Our next football broadcast will come your way on uh, Friday night, September 28th. That's two weeks from now for homecoming when the Vikings host Watertown, 7 o'clock is kickoff then. And, of course, uh, before we go, we want to pass along thanks, as always, to our director and producer, Derek, out in the truck. 
Uh, graphics by Jacob, cameras, Nick, and Brandon. And of course, my guys up here in the box tonight, Spencer and Corbin, thank you very much for both of your help. Really appreciate it. And we will see you in two weeks for more high school football. Till then, James Weingart from Collins Field in Stoughton. This has been a presentation of WSTO Sports in association with Stoughton High School. For more, go online, WSTO.TV. We'll see you on the 28th for homecoming. Good night from Stoughton. This broadcast of Stoughton High School Football on WSTO-TV is brought to you by Stoughton Hospital. For more than 100 years, our neighbors in the Stoughton area have trusted Stoughton Hospital to provide personalized, forward-thinking, expert health care. Stoughton Hospital is a proud supporter of WSTO programming, trusted care close to home. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Hanson Electronics, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent and Radio Shack dealer. Inkworks of Stoughton, unique digital and offset solutions. Pizza Pit of Stoughton, fresh, fast, and hot delivery of our great pizzas, sandwiches, chicken, and more. And McGlynn Pharmacy, your local full-service pharmacy with free delivery.